We still need to add a VHF antenna and radio to our system on board our boat. The Glomex FME VHF antenna is already mounted on the bracket and the FME cable has been routed. We seal the cable hole with Seekerplex. The short FME antenna and cable will be connected to the existing antenna cable. It is best to have as few connection points as possible to keep losses to a minimum. Begin by attaching the PL connector to the antenna cable. Strip the cable according to these specifications prior to installing the connector. Before fitting the connector, first fold the braided shield down over the coax jacket. Then slide the collar onto the cable and hold it in place using tape. Screw the inner part of the PL connector down over the braided shield and onto the jacket until it is tight. A good part of the centre conductor wire will be protruding from the connector after it has been inserted. Use a cable tie to hold the cable in an upright position so that hot solder can easily run into the connector. Wait for the solder to harden before cutting off the excess part of the centre conductor wire. The collar can now be screwed over the connector. The Glomax FME cable is ready for assembly so no soldering is required. Simply twist an FME to PL adapter onto the FME cable end and attach a PL-PL connector so that both antenna cables can be connected to each other. The Raymarine Ray90 radio can now be installed. The advantage of this system is that the black box can be placed in a concealed location, leaving only a speaker and control unit to be installed at the helm. The black box is fitted in the starboard cabin next to the AIS 700, which functions as an antenna splitter. We attach the supplied installation template and drill the holes accordingly. Once the Ray90 black box is mounted, it is possible to start with the wiring. Power is supplied directly via the battery. Use WAGO splicing connectors to attach the wires. The radio is connected to the NME2000 network via an NME2000 micro C cable. Our radio antenna is connected to the AIS700 with the antenna cable and the PL connector. The supplied short antenna cable is used to attach the IIS 700 to the radio. The wire connection cable for the control unit and the speaker is connected to the radio's HS1 port. Additional control units can be connected using the HS2 and hub ports. The supplied Ray 90 speaker is mounted onto the side of our control console. Before installing, attach the installation template and make the hole with an appropriate cutter. The laminate can be tough and you may need to work a little harder to get through in some areas. Now drill small holes for the cables and the mounting screws and the speaker can be installed. The holder for the control panel is fitted to the left of the steering wheel. Drill the holes and mark their position on masking tape. The socket for connecting the control unit will be installed to the right of this unit. Drill a small hole for the wires and further holes for the installation screws. Finally, we connect the speaker and cable connection for the control unit using the Y cable, which is connected directly to the Ray 90.